It is so important to have diversity in medical research for many reasons. We are a diverse community um, in our country, um, and we need to have a diverse population in our medical research. When we study um, certain conditions, certain cancers, and we only use one population, uh, we find out a lot about that population, but it says nothing about other populations. They could be exactly the same, uh, but they could be also markedly different. And this has been shown time and time again in some other research areas. It's not so much the ethnicity, it's being able to have patients who have a broad range of types of diseases. For instance, in breast cancer, breast cancer cells are not smart enough to know if a person is white or black or Hispanic, but those cells are smart enough to know the certain pathways that allow them to grow. And if we can have patients in our studies that have these pathways and we then see the effect of our new agents on these pathways, we benefit women of all ethnicities. When we talk about clinical trials, we have the best standard treatment and we're comparing it to the most promising treatment. We're a site that does a lot of these newer therapies that aren't necessarily fully FDA approved yet, but show great promise. These are treatments that have already been, been tested in earlier trials and have been shown to be extremely um, well tolerated and probably will give better results in the standard, but we don't, won't know until we compare it head to head in that trial. The expected number of uh, underrepresented minorities in trials is a little lower than expected here. Um, and it's not for necessarily a lack of trying, but it might be a lack of going into the right communities to recruit those types of patients. There's some historical barriers um, that um, prevent people from enrolling in trials larger because they're afraid. Some of them are, I don't want to participate, you're going to use me as a, a, you know, a farm animal or something like that. Um, I've heard things, particularly for older patients, particularly for African Americans, that they remember the Tuskegee issues. I think, uh, depending on your age, the Tuskegee incident really carried a lot of weight when they did that uh, experiment and then didn't tell the gentleman that they were being used as an experiment. And you know, that kind of negativity hangs around for years and years. It was a long time ago. Race relations were different then. And everything changes. If you live, things change. And I think that you can stay in the past and not get involved in anything or else you can make a conscious decision that in order for us to go forward, you may be asked to participate so that medicine can move forward. I will tell you that if a patient gets into the U of M system and I or one of my colleagues care, they will provide the best care they can. We accept all patients, we want all patients, we encourage all patients to come to the University of Michigan. We are a very welcoming um, institution. Everyone wants to be cured of their disease and the clinical trials gives everyone equal opportunity to do so.